Okay, boys and girls, today we're talking about the CZ P10C two years later. Now, before we get into this, as always, please don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe so you can see more awesome Alaskan content just like this. Okay, so the other day, I was sitting around and realized that I haven't actually covered this gun in an official review, so I thought, while it is a little late for me and I have put plenty of rounds through my CZ P10C, I thought today I would talk about the CZ P10C, what I think about it, and compare it to the venerable Glock 19. Now I have a Glock 19X on me right now, this is my EDC handgun at the moment, but I would thought I'd compare it to this and kind of just talk about some pros and cons and uh, yeah so let's jump right into it okay so the great thing about doing a review on this handgun is that my perspective from two years ago still largely hasn't changed on this handgun so I will give you guys an abbreviated version or abbreviated review and then don't jump into it a little bit more in depth. So essentially, if you're considering pulling the trigger on a CZ P10C like this gun here, there's two things that I would consider. The first is what are your intentions for the gun? If you are wanting to get a gun to modify and use and or modify and make your own kind of personal gun, I would probably not recommend the CZ P10C. However, if you are looking for a gun that is ready to go out of the box, a gun that you're not really going to modify that much, you know, maybe get a holster, some extra magazines, maybe throw a weapon mounted light on, uh, but you know, aside from that, not really do too much heavy modification to things like the trigger, the slide, um, the trigger, the slide, the sights, that kind of thing, then I think that this gun is very solid and honestly probably one of the best choices on the market still even to this day. So let's talk about that. So the primary reason I think this way or the primary reason I think of this way about the cvp 10 c is that for this handgun's price, which is about $479, about $480, you're getting all of these things. You're getting a you're getting factory night sights that are actually pretty decent. Um, they work very well in the night, and they're pretty easy to find, pretty easy to you know utilize at night time. Uh, you're also getting a very nice trigger, which you guys can see unloaded. Uh, this is a very nice, very clean trigger, and it also has a excellent reset that is very short, and so it has a superb trigger. Nice sights from the factory. So in addition to the trigger and sights, you also have ambidextrous uh, magazine release, as you guys can see there, and an ambidextrous slide release, as you guys can see there. So overall, there's all of those factors. It also, for those who are concerned, has a full metal or guide rod for the spring, so extra durability there. And overall, this gun is pretty well, a pretty well put together package for the price point of it. Of course, like I said, it's also compatible with uh, optics, or not optics, weapon mounted lights like you see here, the TW10, but uh, that's what you're getting out of box. You're also getting similar capacity to the Glock 19, so if you are looking for something that is pretty much ready to go, also forgot to mention that you have forward slide serrations, which some Glocks have nowadays, but not all Glocks do. So there's also that out of box. So you're getting all of those features that are, in my opinion, better than something like a stock Glock from factory for under $500 brand new. Now you could also find these for less than $500 on the used market, potentially. Um, you know, there's a little bit of a gun shortage right now, but uh, in a normal world, you could also find these for, you know, well under $500 on the used market, potentially. So there's that as well. So overall, the price point and value for this handgun is very high if you are looking to use it as it comes out of the box. Now, of course, things like the Glock 19, uh, in this particular case, this is the Glock 19X, you know, you have unbeatable customization. You know, you can get new slides, new slide releases, new optics or sights. You know, some uh, Glocks come optics ready cut for red dots. 
You can get all kinds of aftermarket accessories. You can get aftermarket magazines with varying capacities. You, know, you can just do a ton of things. Of course, aftermarket triggers as well. Um, so you can really do whatever you want to make your Glock your own. Um, and so there's so many modifications that can be made to this gun. But at the end of the day, like I said, if you're looking for a gun that is ready to rumble out of box, this is probably a better option. And in fairness, uh, while I may not, or while I may be more partial to my Glock frames, in fairness, if you are going to actually, you know, carry something for perspective self-defense, you would probably really want to consider something like the CZP-10C, because if you do have to use that gun for self-defense, you can basically count that gun as a loss. So if you do pour a lot of money into a custom Gucci Glock, so to speak, and you use that Glock in a real self-defense situation, you've basically thrown away whatever money that you put into that gun. So that is a solid advantage for something like the CZP-10C. Um, overall, what do I think of it? It's a fantastic shooting gun. It runs basically any ammo you put through it. Um, I've put steel case, um, I've put steel case, copper case, brass case, uh, ammo through this, or maybe I should say bimetal, not fully copper, but I've put, you know, any kind of ammunition you can get through this gun. It runs it all just fine, and uh, it works without a problem. So I really do enjoy shooting this gun. It is a lot of fun. The biggest con to this gun that I will say, and I think I've mentioned in the past, is that the biggest con for me is it's a bigger frame slightly. So your Glock 19, and I'm not going to use the 19X to illustrate this because the 19X has a longer frame due to the fact that it's an X, but the Glock 19 does have a shorter or smaller frame than the P10C, but it has the same capacity. So you are carrying a slightly longer gun, and it is slightly more it's slightly harder to hide if you are CCWing it. Now, if you are running an appendix carry, it's not that much harder. And of course, I run something much longer, the 19X with a 19 round magazine. So if I can CCW that, I could definitely CCW this with a 15 round magazine. But it is a little bit longer, which, you know, has a pro and a con to it. It is easier to hold and more comfortable to shoot but at the same time it is slightly harder to conceal. So bear that in mind if you are thinking about it. It is slightly longer in uh, grip length and in magazine or in grip length and frame length. So keep that in mind. But aside from that, it overall is a pretty fantastic pistol. And I definitely would recommend it. Obviously it's still in my collection. Uh, as far as it goes with the shooting experience, like I said, the light trigger makes this gun a real pleasure to shoot. In addition to that, I feel that CZ has done a really good job at lowering the reciprocating mass or bringing the slide down just ever so slightly or maybe bringing your hand up closer to the frame. So when you do have this gun supported, it's sitting like this. It feels very close to the slide and it's very controllable. Whereas on a Glock, which isn't a huge deal, but this is what my Glock looks like, and I feel, though it may be a little bit unwarranted or might not be as real as I make it, um, you can see that the back strap is pushed down a little bit further, so when you hold it like this, you are slightly further down on the pistol. Uh, it's kind of hard to illustrate, maybe just showing them side by side can hopefully illustrate what I mean here, where this uh, kind of back strap is pushed more inward and upward than the Glock back strap. So when you hold this handgun, you just feel a lot closer to the slide than when you hold a Glock. Now that certainly doesn't take away from the Glock, and I do like the 19X a lot because there's plenty of meat on that handle to get a really good two-handed or one-handed grip, as you guys can see there. And uh, I certainly can shoot this thing with enough speed to adequately defend myself. But it is noticeable, and like I said, if you run a few hundred rounds through a CZP 10C, you will definitely notice that the gun recoils slightly less than something like a Glock or a Glock. Um, kind of competitor or clone. So anyways, that is the CZP-10C after two years of carrying, using, shooting. 
I have probably a few thousand rounds through this thing at this point, and it's a pretty fantastic handgun. So I really don't have any complaints. Right now, it is set up with a weapon-mounted light, uh, kind of in a home defense rig, uh, and I think this is a pretty fantastic setup. For that, uh, maybe the magazine capacity could be slightly higher, but you can also get extended magazines too. So anyways, guys, that is the CZ P10C. It is a pretty fantastic handgun. If you're looking for something to go to that you don't have to modify or do a lot to change out of box, and you just want to get a gun, get into it, and start practicing with it for self-defense, I think that this is a pretty good, pretty modern option and competitor that is worthy of checking out, at least. So, anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, God bless, and I'm out.